Welcome to video 158 in series 3, and now I'll fill in the NPC state investigate harm script. Alright, so open up the NPC state investigate harm script, and fill in the following private read only NPC state pattern NPC private float offset is equal to 0.3f private raycast hit hit private vector 3 look at target. Public NPC state investigate harm pass in NPC state pattern NPC state pattern NPC is equal to NPC state pattern. Okay, so let's go to our NPC state pattern script and put that in so it's inside of setup state references investigate harm state is equal to new npc state investigate harm this so this is the last of the behaviors that we need to write uh, with the npc state uh, as part of the file name okay inside of a void update state i will have a method name look so we have to write that i will make use of the uh, to patrol state and inside of that, I have npc.current state is equal to npc.patrol state. I will also make use of the uh, to alert state. Inside of that, I will have npc.current state is equal to npc.alert state. I will also make use of the to pursue state. And inside of this, I will have npc.current state is equal to npc pursue state. Okay, I have uh, three methods I need to write. So I'll first write void go to location of interest. npc.meshrenderer flag.material.color is equal to color.black. If npc.mynavmeshagent.enabled and npc.location of interest is not equal to vector3.0, then npc.mynavmeshagent.set destination npc.location of interest npc.mynavmeshagent.resume npc.npcmaster.call event npc walk anim if npc.mynavmeshagent.remaining distance is less than or equal to npc.mynavmeshagent.stopping distance then npc.location of interest is equal to vector3.0 to patrol state. So just jump to the patrol state. Now, if the main block here is if the navmesh agent wasn't enabled or our location of interest was a vector 3.0, then we have here an else to patrol state. So just go to the patrol state. Because it means that we have nothing. We have no new location of interest and that means the whatever the possible target that we were trying to find by investigating is possibly long gone. Okay, above this now, outside of this method, so this method itself is called by something, but we need to have another method. Void, check if target is in direct sight. So look at target is equal to new vector 3, npc.pursuetarget.position.x, comma, npc.pursuetarget.position.y plus offset, comma npc dot pursue target dot position dot z now i could have just used the npc dot offset value rather than the one in this script so i could make that correction or just leave it as it is so in this case it doesn't make any difference now if physics dot line cast starting from npc dot head dot position comma look at target comma out hit comma npc dot site layers if hit dot transform dot root is equal to npc dot pursue target then npc.location of interest is equal to npc.pursuetarget.position go to location of interest. So what am I doing here? Here I am actually going to uh, do a check. I'm actually going to, since I'm investigating harm, this npc is investigating harm, I'm telling it to fire a line cast out to that target position, that potential target position. If it hits something, uh, with the line cast, then out hit and check the uh, check if it matches if the transform matches the pursued target. If it does, 
then we have a location of interest and we should go to that location of interest. Now, furthermore, inside of that if statement, I have another check. If vector3.distance npc.transform.position, comma, look at target is less than or equal to npc.site range to pursue state. It means that that target is pretty close and that that, that is the uh, the attacker, whoever that was. And so we should go to the pursue state and pursue this. Okay. Now, if the hit dot transform dot root wasn't the pursue tar target, it could have been a barrel, it could have been a wall, it could have been whatever, then else to alert state. I still want the NPC to at least walk over to where the attacker was and investigate that. Now, if the line cast didn't achieve anything, even so, I want the NPC, I saw I have here else to alert state, I still want the NPC to go out and investigate that position, to go to that location of interest. And that is why I go to the alert state, because the alert state will result in that behavior that the NPC will be looking uh, for a potential target and it will realize that it should go to the location of interest. So that's why I just tell it to go to the alert state. And I'd also like to remind you that as well that in the alert state, uh, I'll just jump over to it very quickly. So in the alert state, when the NPC uh, is going, the only way the NPC can get out of the alert state is to go to the location of interest, or unless, of course, it uh, actually detects a valid target with the detection count, then it'll go to pursue state. But uh, if it doesn't in all that time, and it does end up going to the location of interest and not receiving any new uh, waypoint, basically, a new location of interest, then it will finally return back to the patrol state. So that is why the alert state is so important, because it forces the NPC to go and have a look. Okay, so back in the investigate harm, now none of this code is doing anything, only the look method is getting called, so I need to put in a look method. So void look. If npc.pursue target is equal to null, jump to the patrol state, return, get out of this method, get out of this script. Otherwise, if that's not the case, check if target is in direct sight and you saw what that does. It'll use a line cast. Uh, if it if the uh, if it touches, then we have a uh, location of interest, and then a further check if it's within close range, we should immediately go into pursue state. If it's not in close range, then at least go to the alert state. Look, if the line cast didn't find anything, still go to the alert state and go to the location of interest inside of the alert state. And uh, even this will, the, even this script will result in the NPC going to the location of interest for however long it's running. Okay, uh, so that is it. Um, I would say that's it for our state behaviors. Let me save that. Now we can't see any of this in action uh, till we have our damage stuff in place. So that's still a long way. We're going to have to wait till the end of the chapter. So let me just go through this slowly. You take care. Read the um, code. Make sure that you don't have uh, any errors. So you do have to take a lot of care. Make sure of that. Make sure it matches uh, well with what I have written here. So that way, when you get to the end of this chapter and you've made all the other scripts, you don't get any uh, nasty surprises. So the three methods were look, check if target is in direct sight, and go to location of interest. And let me just jump to Unity, make sure there are no errors, and they aren't. Okay, so that is it. So that's enough for this video. Uh, good job so far. We've still got heaps of work more to do, so keep on going.